In this video, we will explore the concept of limiting driving frequency on IS-7. The frequency limit can be set in three ways. First, you can limit the frequency by setting the start frequency and the maximum frequency. The start frequency is the frequency at which the drive starts the voltage output. Increasing the start frequency may increase the output voltage at motor startup, which may increase the start torque. In result, it may strain the motor and the load. In addition, it may not be a soft start. The maximum frequency is the upper frequency limit value that the drive can output and is the reference frequency for the acceleration and deceleration time based on the factory default. Use this to limit frequency according to load characteristics and motor specification applied. Second, setting upper and lower frequency limits. The minimum frequency for the upper limit is the lower limit. The maximum frequency for the lower limit is the upper limit. When setting target frequency with the keypad, it can be set between upper limit and lower limit. Third, the frequency jump setting. This feature prevents you from operating in the resonant frequency band that may appear in your machine system. When the motor accelerates or decelerates, it passes through the frequency jump band, and frequency cannot be set in the set frequency jump band. Depending on the operating characteristics of the equipment to be applied, the frequency limit function can be used for a wide variety of applications in order to avoid or drive in a particular frequency band. Let's set the start frequency to see if the output starts with the set frequency. First, we will set the DRV6 command source to FXRX1 and DRV7 frequency reference source to V1. Set start frequency DRV19 to 5 Hz. And press the escape key to return to monitor mode. The potential meter for voltage input to which V1 is connected is maximized and the P1 terminal with forward operation FX is turned on. You can see that the output frequency of the keypad starts at 5 Hz. This time, let's set the upper lower limit of the output frequency to see if it is operating in the set range. Set the frequency limit ADV24 frequency limit to yes. Set the lower limit frequency ADV25 to 15 Hz. And set the upper limit frequency ADV26 to 40 Hz. Turn on the P1 terminal to drive the motor and then increase the command frequency to the maximum through the V1 voltage input. Check the frequency on the keypad to verify that it is not operating at more than 40 Hz. After a while, lower the input value. Slowly keep lowering at around 20 Hz to see how the output frequency varies. Set the frequency jump ADV27 in the ADV group to yes. Enter 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and 35 at ADV28 
to ADV 33. When the V1 frequency input is gradually adjusted and acceleration and deceleration is performed, the keypad checks that the frequency does not change within the frequency jump. We have learned about the frequency limit function on IS-7.